and gentlemen, welcome back to Mullet Mark. Today I have out on my workbench um, a set of clear Trans Am lenses that we sell with the honeycomb already applied through iRock Motorsports and Mag Performance. And while I just had um, some other lenses and housings here and various arrays of together or not, I figured I'd show you a little bit of the process. So over here we have a set of stock lenses, completely stock housing, sorry. What you do is you trim and you cut those so that our lens goes on top, kind of creates a flange. Get a clear lens like this, do whatever you want to with it. For example, we have some custom little LED stuff we're doing back here for a friend of ours. But you can also just order them with the uh, honeycomb already applied by us. So if you get it like this, what you want to do is still use diffusion on the back side so that it will light properly. Basically the, the frosting that we use disperses the light so that when you hit your brake lights, you have a fuller red all the way across. So I'm gonna get in close, show you guys some of this stuff, and then I'll show you what you need to do to spray your own lenses and diffuse them so they are ready to put on. All right, so what we have here is just your normal 1998 to 2002 Trans Am OEM housings. So you would start with something like this and you would cut the inside of this lens out. That way you can continue to use this lens perimeter as a flange to mount our lenses. I'll show you what that looks like. So here we have a trimmed housing. So we take out the reverse light that always cracks in spider webs anyway, the lens for it. And we've trimmed away this part of the lens. These are just test pieces I play around with. Um, and then we spray the inside with a bumper of chrome metallic just to bring it back because the factory comb always blackens. And then you would just take our lens, line it up, a little hard to do in one hand, and seal it on. So these lenses are a PETG, PETG material. Um, so we recommend using a Scotch weld product to bond these on. So we have all that on the websites. I'll try to put it in the links below. But here, instead of our clear with the honeycomb already on it, I just wanted to show you that if you were to try to install it like that, you can see through to the housing, which is fine if that's the look you're going for. However, when it lights up, you'll just see a bulb light up for the most part. You won't see the whole red light up the way you did with these. But it's simple. Basically, this has diffusion built into it with the shapes that it's molded in on the underside. We're just gonna add some paint on the inside of the lens that makes it diffused and spreads that light around. So that's what we're doing today. So have a few lenses with the vinyl already applied. We'll do some diffusion on them. We're just going to clean them first with rubbing alcohol, just regular paper towels or shop towels. And I'm gonna put a few coats of Rust-Oleum Frosted Glass Clear Semi-Transparent Finish. So that's what we're doing today. Shows you a little bit of the way how you go from this to eventually this. All right guys, I just wanna show you the product a little bit. So this would be your clear Trans Am lens. This would be the most basic thing that you would get. Um, if it seems like it's fuzzy or scratched, don't let that fool you. These have coatings on them. So you'll just take this coating off, take this coating off because it protects the lens. So we previously would make these out of acrylic, which works great. However, we finally were able to upgrade to PETG. Um, that's a material that's a little more flexible, does better in the sun, it's just gonna live a lot longer in your car. A little more expensive on our end, but we charge you guys the same. And it was just something that was relatively difficult to get the past year due to COVID and the pandemic. So this is what you would get, just a clear lens that you can just let your imagination run with. You can do anything you want to design-wise. It's a blank slate. Now we also offer it with the vinyl separate for you to apply that yourself, or we offer it to you already applied. So this is a clear lens that's already had the honeycomb pattern applied to it. We use a clear UV protectant um, vinyl that we print the designs onto. That being said, anything within this border shape, we can change. So if you guys want the grid style, we can do the grid style. If you guys want a bird's feathers and wings coming out, we can do that. So anything within this honeycomb space, we can make a custom design for you. 
Um, again, this vinyl is already applied, but if you were to put this on a housing, light would just look like a flashlight point of light coming through. So what we're gonna do is clean off this backside of the rubbing alcohol and just spray a couple little misted layers, super easy, of a frosted glass semi-transparent paint. This is basically going to diffuse the light. Once you step on the brake lights, it'll diffuse it. And what that means is the entire lens will look like it's lighting up red as opposed to just where the brake lights are lighting up red. So not much else to say about that. I do not know what PETG actually stands for. Um, I just take the word of my very trusted good friend, Kyle, who uh, forms these for us that it's the better material. I think it sounds, it, I think it stands for pretty epic Trans Am goodies. Sorry, I couldn't come up with anything better than that. But um, yeah, so it's more flexible. You don't have to worry about this thing cracking, much more heat resistant. And again, we have UV, UV protection on the outside. Um, so you don't have to worry about these fading the way like the old LT1 grid style tail lights did that were pretty similar manufacturing process. Okay, so we're gonna get some of these cleaned up, get some diffusion on them, and it's gonna be the end of the video. All right, super simple guys, paper towel. Rubbing alcohol. wipe it down basically what I just want to make sure there's no greasy fingerprints and stuff left on this inside so that we can diffuse it so we're going to diffuse the reverse light as well I just feel it's aesthetically more pleasing some customers want the reverse light to not be diffused that's totally fine I just tape off that area and spray this area um, but these are for my friend Doug and he agrees with me it looks a little better when it's all diffused and smoked so that's what we're gonna do so I'm gonna repeat this three more times because I've got two full pairs that I'm gonna do and I'll show you the painting process. So I just got a paper towel cover my hand because I'm lazy, it's easier just to hold this and spray than taping whatever, masking stuff off. Got my Rust-Oleum frosted glass and my transparent, get that from pretty much any hardware store. Um, keep it shaped well. And I'll show you what I'm gonna do is just make one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, that's my whole pass the whole pass pattern. So I do one coat basically top to bottom, another one bottom to top, and another one top to bottom. And that gives you the exact right amount of diffusion. Not too much, not too little. Take our lid off. Again, we're spraying the entire lens on this one. And you'll see that my spray pattern is just gonna be top back up and one more that's all you need okay your main concern is obviously the areas that you're gonna show through the black border and uh, I always like to start off with my reverse so that it doesn't get uh, over spray because remember what you're painting your first layer is what you see not your last layer your first layer is gonna be most important so spray areas like that first. See? Three, and I'm gonna go up here. And that's it. So right now it's still wet, so don't let that be your judge of whether or not you sprayed enough or not. Just do that right there, let it dry. If you put it on your housing, if you want it a little more diffused, diffuse it a little more. It's much easier to add paint than it is to take it off, that's for sure. So I'm going to let this one dry. You can see it's already diffusing some in there. And then uh, I'm going to hit three others and show you what they look like when they're done. So I had them in the sun for just a little bit so that the paint would go ahead and you know stick and get a little hard. But now I have them drying in the shade, finishing off their, their little cycle. Here's an OEM 98-2002 Trans Am factory housing. Here's the same thing, but with this inner part cut out, sprayed silver so that it lights up better than this because these usually get dark and black inside. Reverse lights removed. 
if you want to make a little project and have a do-it-yourself version, we have a completely clear one. You can do what you want. Here's an example. We're going to tent this, but behind there's red LEDs and arrows. Um, next level of lens is our clear with honeycomb already applied. That's what this looks like. You can just add your own diffusion. See how nice it is if you keep that clear sometimes. And finally, here it is with the diffused lens on. There you go. That's the difference. So this is what it would look like pretty much on your car. Um, we're seeing a little bit behind here right now because of the angle of the sun. And if you can see but the sun's coming in right from that direction, so it's reflecting. Um, you generally wouldn't see this much at all. Matter of fact, I can probably just turn it down. <laughs> now it's reflecting even more. Um, so this may be a situation I maybe diffuse this lens a little more if it actually looks like that um, when I get it out from under the camera. But just to give you a good idea, there's factory, and here's what it can look like with just a little bit of work. Cool. So I hope this video was somewhat useful to you in understanding the products that we design and sell through Iraq Motorsports and Mac Performance or even just working on your own cool little idea you had in your garage. So just to recap, these are the clear lenses that you can buy for 1998 to 2002 Trans Am houses. Now technically yes, you can put these on pretty much any 93 to 2002 housing because um, the housing itself is the same. However, some of the LEDs are a little different, but I've seen people do it. You can actually use these on pretty much any housing. Um, this is just clear. Again, there's a protective film that comes on here, so it looks more clear than this, obviously. Um, that's our first stage. Our second stage, um, well, technically we have a second stage of just the clear lens and the vinyl separate, not installed. So you would get just that clear, plus whatever vinyl pattern you ordered um, for the lens. Or the next step is that we apply the vinyl for you. Um, I recommend this solely because I suck at putting vinyl on. However, I've had plenty of customers that pick it up and within 20 minutes they've got it done. Um, so yeah, it's up to you. This right here is the vinyl already installed. That's how it would come to you. And finally, whether you do it yourself or you want to get it from us, um, this is what it looks like diffused. So I think that's as far as our options go right now. Basically clear lenses, clear lenses with vinyl, clear lenses with vinyl applied, or clear lenses with vinyl applied and diffused, which means they're ready to install on your OEM houses. Now, uh, during the pandemic, we did offer a service of me installing them for you because there was nothing else going on. It was during a pandemic. Um, however, I also do acting as a, um, as a way to pay the bills. Um, so that's picking back up. I may not be able to offer that service. However, I filmed as much as I could, made as many videos as I can, and I'm gonna upload those showing you guys exactly how to cut your own housings, how to seal them, and how to do all those things. So that whatever level of clear lens all the way to diffused you want to order, you'll feel comfortable and safe modifying your own housings and uh, putting these bad boys on. So this is a product that we had out about a decade ago, um, but it always had issues that I was not happy with. And a decade later, I was able to revisit the product, fix all those issues thanks to modern technology, and offer you guys a really cool lens again. So as Devin Lewis said, no more trying to hunt for a needle in a haystack, trying to find clear lenses. We brought them back for you. We offer them clear, clear with vinyl, clear with vinyl and diffusion, and also any custom pattern in here you want. Uh, just contact me, racing at irockmotorsports.com, and we can design something together. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I'm gonna do my best to make some more videos like this just to show you guys, um, to help you understand better what our products are because they are so niche, it's hard to really understand in write-ups and pictures. I wanted to try to just take the time to put my hands on things and show you guys, you know, what all those little drop down boxes mean. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to keep it up whether you did or not. Have a good one.